So I spent a lot of time crossing back and forth between the white and the black communities in Birmingham and hearing a lot of stories that hadn't, hadn't crossed the racial divide. And I got this haunting sense that so many of our current racial misunderstandings stem all the way back to slavery. And so many of our current reactions are the result of energy patterns that were laid down during slavery that we're still navigating now. I mean, what I say to people is, picture a field, a muddy field, and then a heavy tractor, and then a drought. And so it's just all these ruts that we're walking in. And then we wonder why we turn our head and all we can see is the wall. You know, we're living the past, I mean, we're living with hundreds of years of a certain way of dealing with something and that lays down an energetic pattern and that, that remains and that has to be navigated and that has to be um, addressed. I do get asked about being a white person writing about slavery, but I have slaveholding ancestors, and so this is my story too. And actually, I think the white psyche has been deeply influenced by centuries of slavery, and in a way that we haven't really dealt with and that needs to be explored.